There we go. Jeanette's Healthy Connection Talk. I think I put YouTube with it. <laughs> this is usually where I sit. That's my kitchen right there. This is my food. Today I added uh, onions, ground beef, and some uh, leftover spaghetti. And now stirring it up. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring down that wand a bit. <laughs> Camera wand. There we go. I'm just giving it a stir. Looking good. The onions are starting to cook in there. The meat is really cooked right through. And the spaghetti, leftover spaghetti. It's a really nice meal. Anyways, I will enjoy. <laughs> I'll put the cover on. Turn off the element. Which means turn off the knob over here. And I'll just let it seat. Sit in the heat. Cause I got one of those uh, little stove that keeps the food warm. Like it's like a little cast iron pan, pan there on top of the stove. Anyways, enjoy your day. God bless. It's my first meal today, but I'm gonna make it nice, nice, nice. It's okay to eat. I gotta give myself permission that it's okay to eat. It's okay to breathe. Anyways, on today's video, I wrote about boundaries again holding space is about boundaries right and people may say well, what do you mean holding space that's what it means holding space boundaries every time i have a question i keep looking up those words on youtube or <laughs> google and i find that i find the answer awesome <laughs> uh, i've been speaking english for 40 years over 40 years my daughters my grown-up daughters are in their 40s so, I picked up a lot on English language and the meaning of the words. I love words. I could take one word and write a book. That's, that's how I am. Once I discovered I like writing, I was done with, I was completed, I completed my college diploma. <laughs> I was like, yay, I'm graduated with honors. Those young years, you know, because uh, I went back to school and my kids were younger three four and five those ages and i went back to school three years in a row completed my gd for two years and then i completed business law the third year so computers phones <laughs> learning how to use all kinds of off office things anyways today i'm journaling and i love it so i've been journaling since i was the age of 26 and i discovered journaling and they're the way I discovered journaling was, OMG, I can write down uh, little things about myself that I like, things that I don't like. At first it was all about these things I don't like. And then I realized there's some good things about me. <laughs> and then with the returning back to uh, daily journaling, uh, October 25th, 2022, I was inspired by someone who talked about fear talks about fears and resentment and giving away those fears and resentment to God or to the higher power, whoever you believe in. And just, this is how I feel. These are my true emotions. This is how I feel when I'm afraid. This is how I feel when I'm feeling hurt, right? Resentment is about pain that we're experiencing, whether it's a bad experience or a misunderstanding or feeling on love, unseen or unheard or not validated or devalued, right? So I started writing and including that in my journaling and it's like, wow, I'm getting so many answers this way instead of asking everybody else. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? Why is the grass green kind of thing? You know, looking up the answers for myself and what resonates, I hand on to. What doesn't resonate, I let go. 
and I'm learning how to release tension from my body a little bit here a little bit there it's been five years since I had this traumatic for me it was a traumatic experience in surgery but however I have my appendix had burst so that surgery needed to take place so I'm I'm you know I'm glad I'm here some people don't believe in surgery so it's 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 up to your belief system what works for you and what you know will work for you <laughs> you know the best option is just to listen to your heart if you don't your feelings your emotions inside of you if you don't feel a piece about it don't do it right if you feel like you need to rush to the hospital but meanwhile you just need to focus on your breathing right just do that focus on your breathing right if you feel like you need to do a hundred things uh, like your racy mind where you have to do a million things at once it's okay it's just called it's called re dysregulation right the fears just resentment of dysregulations so you're like oh yeah i understand where that's coming from now right those racy thoughts those over anxious mind can come become to a place where you just like connect to yourself and find your peace your place of peace Enjoy your day, all you healthy people out there. God bless.